All right, so we're going to go over how to create this penguin um, in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about how to use layers because we are going to utilize layers more than we have in the past today. You're going to want to make your panels match mine. So um, if you would, come up here and click on Printing and Proofing. And that should set all these up to match. Um, I guess we'll use that one. I don't know. We could go to this typography. Well, you know what? Let's do this typography one. I changed my mind. Because we'll go to typography. We're going to be utilizing layers, and that's here. Um, and this gives us our colors as well, so that's probably a good starting point. So we'll start there. You are going to create a new document, so File, New. I want you to set your units to pixels, and we're just going to make a 500 square, so 500 by 500. Um, there are advanced options down here. We honestly don't need this to be high effect. We could just go to medium, 150, and we will use the CMYK color mode. So once you've got all these set properly, go ahead and hit OK, and that's going to give us this document, this nice square here. Uh, so we're going to be creating a penguin, and I'm going to introduce you to some tools that we haven't used, and we're going to do some more detailed gradient work with this as well. So uh, we'll do a lot of combining of shapes like we have been doing, um, but we're going to do one other little special thing. So we're going to start off by using our uh, oval tool. Let's go ahead and tear that menu off. So we'll push on the tear off menu to get this out here. Um, we're going to take our ellipse and we're going to be drawing the head and the body of our little penguin dude. So I'm going to draw this like so, kind of fat-ish if you will. And then we'll take our white arrow. We're going to click one time on this bottom anchor. That gives us the handles. And then we're going to drag up to kind of flatten that a little bit. Um, and then let's drag this out just a little bit on each side. Just to kind of flatten it out a bit. You could even pull this up some. So that you have a shape that's sort of like that. Now if we wanted to make this less roundy here, um, when you click on the anchor point and you get this anchor, this handle, we can modify that handle um, by holding down, oops, by, by coming over and choosing this other tool. So underneath our pen tool, there's a convert anchor point tool. Um, and we can grab a hold of that handle and convert that point. So when I grab this handle now, see this one moves separate from that. So I can make it not so roundy ish. So it's a little more flat. I'm going to do the same thing over here, but I don't want to convert the path yet. Um, see, because it would do that. So that's not good. So let's undo that. I think I hit it like three times, so that was useful. Okay. Um, we want to do it to the handle, not to this path. So you'd have to kind of switch back first to the white arrow to select the path and then come to the handle. And then we'll pull that in a little bit. All right. So something like that is good. Let's choose back on our black arrow tool and take a look at it. All right, that looks fine. Kind of looks like a muffin, but that's okay. All right, so we'll leave that alone for a minute, and we'll do the bottom. So we'll come down here and draw yet another little body kind of thing. And once again, we're going to flatten this out just a little bit. So we'll grab the direct selection tool, um, click on the point so that the handles are showing, and then pull up some. And same thing here, we'll pull up from the top to make it a little bit longer. All right, we are going to name these layers. So over here on your layers, um, it says layer one, but when you hit the down arrow, here's your different paths. And if I hit the eyeballs, you can tell. So this is the, we're going to call this the fat body part. And this is going to be the head right there. So we've got those two things going on. Now this is important because we're going to use a layering technique to create a shape that fits inside this shape. And we have to do that in kind of a weird way, a way we haven't done before. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this fat body. And of course we can just hold down Alt and click and drag to make a copy. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to put this one out of the way because I'm going to keep that one. Um, now let me just tell you, hold on, before you do that, or you can undo, I'm going to put this back in position just to show you kind of an easier way to do it. You can just duplicate this layer by clicking and dragging this layer down to the little piece of paper button. See how it makes a plus? That copies it, so now they're just right on top of each other. So that I can use one of these to do what I need to do, and then I still have the other one. So, so we're not confused. I'm going to turn the extra one off right now, because this is the one we're going to keep. You might even want to call it Fat Body Keep so you don't get lost about that. 
That's the one I'm going to keep. This one here I'm just using temporarily um, as a cookie cutter basically. All right, so now I've got the fat body and I'm going to take another ellipse tool and we're going to draw this little part here that's going to be in the bottom section. Um, you'll understand this more once we do it this first time. All right, I'm not going to name this path yet because we're going to combine these two and use a different thing on our paths tool. So when I go to window and pathfinder and I pull up the pathfinder, we're going to use this other one, which is intersect, which creates a compound shape and it only keeps the areas that overlap. So it's not going to keep this part. It's not going to keep this part. It's only going to keep the overlapping part. All right, so now that I've got this drawn on here, I'm going to select both of these. So I'm going to hold shift to select the second one. So now they're both selected, and then I choose this intersect. And then see what's left is just that middle part. All right, so I'm just going to call this belly. And that's the belly. Now I can turn back on the other part and see it fits in that hole. And that's kind of what we were going for. All right, so that takes care of that part. Now I'm going to group these two items. So again, I'm going to hold down shift to select them both. And you can right click and group them so they move as one. We may have to ungroup them later, but we're just going to do that now so we can move them apart. So we're just drawing all the pieces. All right, we're going to draw um, this face part up here. And the easy way to do that is going to be to use two ovals. So I'm going to draw one and we're going to flatten the bottom a little bit so we'll take that tool again like we've been doing and we're going to flatten this bottom part like so and then back to this we're going to hold down alt to copy so click on it once and then hold down alt to copy it we want these to connect a little bit like something like that okay and we're going to join these so hold down shift so you select both and then we hit join or unite Okay, so we've got that going on, and I'm going to size this up a little bit <coughs> and out. So this is going to be on his little face. So something like that. And of course, remember, you can always alter your points by choosing your white arrow. So if you wanted to just move this little section by itself, you can. Totally up to you on that. I'm going to pull this point down a little bit. Okay. So there we go. We're actually going to cover most of this up by his little beak that we're going to make. All right, so that takes care of that part. Now let's start naming these because, again, I've gotten kind of out of the loop here and I'm not naming stuff. So here's that. We'll just call that um, the face. So, again, I just double-click that and name it face. Okay. Um at this point, we can go ahead and draw that beak if we want to. So we're going to take our oval, our ellipse tool, and draw a little beak. Position it kind of in the middle. We'll just sort of line up with that midpoint so that little green thing sticks up. And You want to do that. And then you can use your arrow keys to kind of just scoot it down ever so slightly. Um, again, we're going to add all the colors and stuff in a minute on this. So we're just getting it all set up. Okay, so that's going to be the beak. Make sure I'm naming the right thing, beak. And there's the beak. Um, okay, we don't have too much left. We've got our eyes and we've got our feet. So we're going to come down here again with an ellipse tool, like so. Take your black arrow. Let's hold down Alt to make a copy. And we're going to rotate these to make these little feet. So kind of connect them together at the bottom make some little feet. almost looks like a heart. It's kind of what we're going after. All right, we select both and unite. There we go. You can take your white arrow tool and click on it and pull this down some to give him kind of more foot looking action there. Um, pull these out a little bit. But however you like it is fine. All right, so there's mine. So there's one foot and then we need two feet. So I'm going to hold down alt and copy so I have two feet. We have our body, we have our feet. I'm going to move this back into place now. Um, and start positioning some things, like so. All right. Um, now, you'll notice this group here is going in front of the face, and it probably should go behind. So we're going to click on it and right-click. We have an option to arrange, and we're just going to send it to the back. And there we go. Now it's behind the head. Scoot down these pieces one at a time, or I could have grouped the head, but either way. 
All right, so there's what we've got so far. Uh, we're going to add some little wings, and we're going to add some eyes, and then we'll start doing our shading and coloring. Um, so for the eyes, we're just going to use a regular ellipse, like about so. And we'll fill these in with black, so go ahead and click over here. She's black. And then let's copy that. So black arrow, hold down Alt, click and drag. There we go, we got some eyes. Um, and then we're just going to use our pen tool and we're going to create some little wings. So switch up here to the pen tool. I'm actually not going to draw it on top of here. I'm going to draw it out to the side because it's easier to draw in my mind and then size things down. So I'm going to click one time and I'm letting go. And then I kind of come out here. What you have to think about is where you want to round to. So I'm going to come down here and I'm clicking and holding and not letting go and rounding that. Okay, and then come up a little bit. And then again, down, click and drag and kind of round a little bit. And then come up some. And then again, click and drag and round a little bit. And then up some. Like that is fine. Um, then I'm going to take my white arrow tool and kind of change the location of that. And of course, you can modify any of these handles to make it look better. Um, I guess just personal preference, however you want this to look. Okay. Um, all right, so once I get it like I want, I'm going to drag it into place. Take your black arrow tool, rotate that around just a little bit. That's good. And we're going to send that to back. Right click, arrange, send to back. And there we go. We've got our little wings there. Might want them a little bit lower. That's up to you. I'm going to alt drag and make a copy. And we need to flip that copy. So we're going to right click, transform, reflect. And we want to reflect that vertically. You can preview that if you want to see it flip around. And there we go. All right. So there's that. At this point, we're ready to do our shading. <coughs> so we are going to use gradients for a lot of this. For the belly, let's go ahead and ungroup that. <coughs> and of course, I need to name these. I have some things not named now. So um, here's an eye. Here's an eye. Oops. And there's a foot. And here's a foot. And then down here's the wings. Wing one. Wing two. All right, so I don't know if we can actually do the filling of these while they're grouped uh, without like clicking separately on the layers. So let's ungroup those now that we've got them here. So you right click and ungroup, so now they're back in their own separate groups. We're going to deal with the little belly first. We want it to be white at the top and get it a little bit darker towards the bottom. So we need our gradient one. So we're done with the pathfinder. Here's the gradient one. Um, we're going to do a linear. Just going to start. Uh, white at one side and switch for the other. So first off we need to flip this around. Over here is going to be the gradient editor which um, gives us this gradient tool right here. And we can actually move, rotate around our gradient. There we go. All right. And um, you can decide you know, how that works but we just want a little bit of gray at the bottom like that. And if you want more of the dark, just pull more up. But just kind of a little, that sort of thing going on there. All right, I'm back to my black arrow tool. Just to kind of set that down. Um, we'll take a foot. Um, so with a foot, again, we're going to use um, another, radi uh, another gradient. We're going to do linear again. Now, scan it's going the wrong direction. So we're going to grab that gradient tool. And um, you have to kind of point to the right place to get it. There we go. There's the rotatey thing. And then, of course, we can move this up and down. We need to change the colors on here because the colors are wrong. So this top color, um, I'm just going to kind of double click on there and switch to the colors. And we'll choose um, like a orange. And then come down here to the bottom and double click. And you can choose like another shade of orange. There we go. All right, so there's that back to my black arrow tool so I can see it down. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to save this style so we can use it again. So um, we're going to go to the window menu and 
once we get in here, we are going to find a graphic library that we can put this into. So let's just go to graphic styles and we can save this. So whatever you're clicked on, if you hit this arrow, then it puts it in there. So now I can come click on this other one and use it again and I don't have to set it again. And for that matter, I can come up here and use it on the beak. And we've got the beak going on. So same thing here, if I wanted to use this same sort of deal up here on this part, I can click on this one, click New Style, and that saves it there. Click on this part of the face, and it puts it in there. All right, so now we just need to do what are going to be mostly black areas. So I'm going to click on the face, and again, choose my gradient. Um, again, just choose Linear. And here I'm going to go ahead and, and fix some of this a little bit. We want it to be black to gray to black. Uh, we could do just a teeny bit of white I guess on the ends. So I've got white there. I'm going to click right here and make this one a gray and then kind of click again somewhere and double click and make it a black. And then we'll drag this black over here. And then again over here do another gray and then again at the very end to do a white. So we get kind of that look. And um, if we wanted to go top to bottom, then we're going to have to flip it over. So we choose our gradient tool yet again and flip this puppy around. And then remember, we got to move it up. There we go. All right. So now let's save that style into graphic styles. So let's go back up to Window and Graphic Styles to pull that back up. Click here to save that style right there. Now we can take our black arrow, click on the body, and apply that style. There we go. And there we are. We've created a beautiful little penguin. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about graphic styles. Now probably I would have gone through and made these strokes a little bit bigger because these all have one point strokes. Um, but I'm not going to do that at this point because we've already got this much done. But do recall if you did need to do that you would just simply click on it, come up here and modify that stroke. Well you know what? I'm going to just do it, right? Let's just do it. So I'm just going to come up and make all of these two point strokes. Um, so it just looks a little more defined. There we go. Um, don't really 100% need it on the body, but um, we'll go ahead. There. That looks better. So save that, and you have now drawn a penguin.